Hello LEGO Worlds fans and welcome to a brand new Let's Play with me, Bear Parker, the community manager for LEGO Worlds, and Chris Rose. Hello. How are you doing, Chris? I'm alright, thanks. Um, we've just updated LEGO Worlds with a whole host of fun new things, haven't we? We have indeed, yeah. We've, um, we've released what we call Title Update 3, uh, so we've added loads of new content to the game. Um, obviously we've got lots of little sort of new mechanics stuff going in there as well for some of the uh, Monsters DLC that went in there. Uh, in fact, my guy, my custom character, he's actually using the head of one of the oh, sorry, uh, of the characters, Mr. Good and Evil. So he's got the sort of half and half face. Um, so we've added quite a few of these features in. Uh, actually, we're in a pretty good spot for the first one. Um, so we've had a lot of players sort of say to us they'd like more control over the time of day. Uh, so if I go into my inventory and go right to the top, uh, we mm. added a new special item to the top row uh, just above the dotted line called the Sky Spinner. So when we pull this and we tap, uh, sorry, hold B, you'll see that the time of day changes. So I can go from night time and I can skip time right through to the middle of the day like that. And oh. a nice bright time. Super cool. That so that was um, directly influenced by some community feedback as well, wasn't it? Yeah, people have been saying, oh, hey, can we just have a bit more control over the time of day? Um, and, you know, it's, it's something that we've always had as a debug option um, so that we could always sort of, you know, do our own tests. And it does make sense. You know, people do want the ability to sort of see uh, more things in night time or daytime. So when they're sort of building certain things that are quite specific, um, particularly when people are sort of building their own sort of like monsters or spooky stuff, um, they wanted to see it in night time. Without having to wait, they can just sort of cycle through that now. Especially handy if you know if you're remotely scared of the dark. Yeah, um, that's that, well. There is you know there is also <laughs> gameplay elements that happen at night, such as like um, you know sort of hostile mobs will appear at night, so you can sort of skip through those. Uh, so you're just sort of left on your own. Uh, and then cycling through some other changes we made. So the landscape tool is obviously something that we've had since day one. Uh, we've always had the ability to add certain shapes, certain sizes. Um, one thing you can do, you notice now that I've just rotated on a slightly different axis. So whereas before we were very much 90 degree turn, we've got 90 degrees or 45 degree turns. Um, now you can sort of rotate a lot more. Um, what it doesn't do is break the sort of the grid effectively. So everything's built as if the world is a giant Lego base plate. So as you can see, it's actually using lots of, sort of smaller bricks there to sort of make this angled shape. Whereas if I move back to the sort of standard shape, whoop, one more left. You can see it's using slightly long, longer, straighter tile. And if I just twist to the side, it's breaking it down into smaller chunks. So you actually get a bit more control over the shape of something you make um, with regards to you know, what you can make, what you can't make in the game. Yeah, for me, this has like, dramatically improved my build time. Yeah, big, big, yeah, hugely. So you can sort of obviously increase and change that. But also as well, we've added different shape types. So we've always had like, the ball, the, the big square. But then we've added these like, angles as well. So. Um, you know, I can imagine people making sort of like skate ramps and stuff of this would be quite cool. I actually did that the other day. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. How did it go? Uh, really well. Good. good. Uh, yeah, my skateboarding skills not so much. No. Uh, but yeah. Well, but there's also like different angles of those shapes as well. So we've tried to make it, you know, useful effectively, so that you can sort of cycle through um, and sort of just change the shape as you go. You can see I've got loads of different shapes there. If I just keep cycling through, we've got this nice arc. It's like nice ramps and stuff. So that if you sort of build something and you want to have like a smoother such uh, shape on the side. Um, this is something I tend to struggle with when I'm sort of using not, not just brick, brick by brick in game, but even when I'm building actual Lego. I always find making rounded stuff mm. quite difficult. Um, so we've sort of added this sort of rounded shape, so you can sort of build like natural looking roofs. Yeah, I use nice. this one for a canopy. I was building a, uh, a football stadium, a soccer stadium, um, okay. the other, uh, last week, and uh, the, these new shapes and um, in the landscape tool were like massively useful for the like the, the canopy at the top and. Um, some of the, the smaller details in the corners and everything. Yeah, um, so it was always like choose. Right? So if I used the delete tool, it would have a nice little tunnel. So you can sit, you know, rapid tunneling as well, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can get quite creative with this now, yeah, even more so than you used to before. Um, and then we've got these like hoops as well. Um, so I can just add in, you know, I could, it didn't have to do what I just did, I could just add in a tunnel. Obviously, I've just slightly <laughs> ruined it with the shape I've just drawn. but. I think that's like almost like a candy cane shape going on there. But you can make like a wicked kind of maze maybe now with... Uh, well, with yeah, there's things like that you can do. But also, obviously, these things work underground as well, which is really important. So, you know, there's, there's all sorts of, again, just like more shapes, just sort of cycling through them all quickly now. Um, that's quite a nice one. I've used this a few times, because uh, I'll, I'll build with like the conventional cube, and then I'll use this to carve out a tunnel shape. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, so this, it just gives you a lot more options as well. So you can build underground, uh, underwater, um, you know, so one of the things that people sort of said, to, hey, can you make these tools function a bit simpler so you can actually start using them under, under the water? So once we get sort of deep enough, 
yeah, sure, you can start adding them in. Uh, it's quite shallow in this section here, so it's not going to look too great. But uh, there we go, it's time to get a bit deeper down there. So you can start adding sort of terrain under the water, and the deeper you go, it's going to be sort of visual. There you go, so you can see that. Speaking of water, um, we've added water as a, a proper landscape option as well now, I believe. Um, before it was just the one type, and now there's three types of water that you can use to put in your world? Yeah, we, we had two originally, which was like a river water and like a sea water. Um, the sea water never really behaved very well. Um, it still doesn't have like full super flow physics or anything like that, but if you go into the sort of water features, you can see that we have got a couple more going. So ocean, deep ocean is the, is the newer one effectively. Ah. Um, it does behave a little bit better uh, when you sort of try and use it. It doesn't sort of flood out, but what it doesn't do is, if you're building like moats or sort of around a carter, it doesn't sort of spill over and sort of ruin that, that attempt. Because also as well, water never was, was really difficult uh, once upon a time to get rid of. And we've now made that much easier. So that place the water can be, can be rid of effectively quite quickly as well. So that's that's quite important that you've done. And also, then of course you, get, you, know, you go actually into the water and get rid of it as well. So things like that are quite, quite handy. Amazing. Yeah, so we'll, we'll stick with the tools. Um, we'll go to the copy tool. So again, um, the original copy tool was because we made an early access and we were built around our PC game. The copy tool kind of behaved like it needed a mouse and a keyboard. Um, it didn't really work too great with regards to thinking about the controller aspect. Um, so you could go that way and you can go up and down like that. But one, one thing we've done now is you can basically hold A uh, and it just rapidly expand around it. And then you can release and tap and then you're back into the mode again. Um, we've made this a lot simpler as well, so you can just hold X and drag uh, the box out and around. So anything that's caught in the initial capture, you can see you've still got the, out, the ability to go in. Uh, if I go to sort of press back on the controller there, I can now go in and start deselecting the individual bricks like normal. Um, so you can you can clean up anything that maybe you've captured by mistake. So this thing over this side over here, I'm just not going to want any of that. So I'm just start rapidly getting rid of all of it. Um, but then if I go back into the box tool. I can just really quickly get rid of it again. So we've made that a lot cleaner. Oh, that's a, that, yeah, that's a massive difference. Yeah, it's so much quicker to use now. So like, I can um, I can start trying to get rid of most of these crates and stuff a lot quicker as well. I'm not going to be able to get all of it because of the shape and the sort of angle of that, but a good chunk of that is now out of the way, uh, and I can just go in and just clean this up myself now. So, so them sort of things do make quite the difference, um, and it's a lot more controller friendly. Uh, again, height and shape still are there, but holding a just blows it out much much quicker especially especially useful if you're making really big things as well on the controllers uh, and it's quite a big size so it's not like it's it's gargantuan yeah you can make really really big stuff with it so that's really cool so that's that's something we're pretty happy that we finally managed to sort of get that right um and in a way that people can use it and obviously on mouse and keyboard people still have the original function so it's not like we've undone that um so let's go uh i'm gonna use the sky spinner again and get back to daytime uh, just because i want to show you something that scared of the dark yeah, a little bit. Uh, we'll show you the Monsters Town where everything's dark uh, a bit later on, but we'll just go to daytime because I think this is really something that you can see a bit better in daytime. So uh, another change we've made. We've made quite a bit of change to the build tool. Um, so first things first, the ability to tap, flick, tap, flick, still there, uh, up and down uh, in any direction you want, still there for you. It still sort of logically go to the next location you would suspect you're going to want to be there. For precision so building. So that's yeah. pretty cool and obviously you've still got the brick types, um, all the small shapes and that. But what we have added, which probably is something we, it's something we've always been asking for and you know, the executive producer Loz has been after this for a long, long time, probably years, probably since the day I started working on this game to be honest. <laughs> he wants what we call the wheel, wall building. Um, so basically you just hold a drag and you can go up and boom wall so infinitely quicker what a wonderful wall yeah and then you can obviously just as before go in clear out the gap where you want to maybe put a door down uh, windows things like that so we've made that much much quicker quicker um to be able to do that with so which which is much better as well uh, and just giving a little bit of extra precision to some of these tools that really did need it uh, yeah because yeah. like conventionally that would have taken a few minutes to put together wouldn't it and you've it done would it do in, or you know if, if it's if it's something you've done a few of uh, you would be able to um, use like the copy tool to sort of quickly copy paste and stuff. So you know we're just giving lots more different options um, for that. Whoops, uh, undo works again much better. So we're looking at doing a few more changes to the undo tool as well. So if I just go like that, so you can see another nice little doorway. I could save that wall and make make my own houses later. But speaking of house making, um, so this is something we were showing off behind closed doors at uh, Gamescom, um, and we didn't have anyone near as many sort of 
uh, features for this yet, and it was really rough uh, and a bit buggy when we showed it, uh, is the planner tool. So the planner tool is a very, very quick, rapid fire way of building houses. This is awesome. Uh, this is perfect for me, because I am not a very good builder. Um, I just, I lack the imagination when it comes to sort of trying to do these things. I see, I see, we go to like some of these live brick events and we see like kids making these awesome things. I'm just like, why, why can't I do this? Why, I do this all the time, why can't I do this? So you can go around, choose your, your types of stuff. Uh, let's look for the door one. Where's the door? There's the door. There's the door. Uh, put that in there. Uh, two doors. And you can see now it's complete. This circuit's complete. It says X hold for building structure. And you see it's glowing green to sort of indicate like a, you know, like an electrical circuit. The circuit's complete. Hold X. And it just builds the house with floors. And look at that. Then you can just start painting the interior. The roof's in there. Um, and you can start making some really interesting shapes with it as well. So if I go back into that, uh, let's change to a different style. Let's go to Japanese house, for example. Uh, let's go quite high up. So this is going to do quite a bit of damage to the surrounding area. Because I'm going to go quite high up. But you know, you get the idea of it. So if I just start making really intricate shapes like this, uh, let's switch it up to another wall. Let's go to the big and large wall here. And we go this way and this way. So you can see it's sort of got some really unique shapes going on now where I've sort of gone in and out. It does calculate for that and it'll just angle the walls and the ceiling uh, to give that. That, that roof is amazing. Well, also the floor as well. It actually detects what floor it should be using as well. So we've got like a, a nice sort of Japanese house style floor. It does raise the props up. You can get rid of those with the tools uh, later on. Oh, you can just smash them as normal. Um, what is really nice about this as well is uh, there is multi-floor available as well. So if you want to build like a skyscraper type uh, build. So let's go back into uh, brick house. So just brick house kit. So let's just go across here and we do another one high up in the air. And I'm just going to rapidly go this way, this way, this way. Looks like this. Da -da -da -da. Um, let's make sure I put a door in so we can get out later. I always do that. Uh, and that's nice. So let's go there again. Like so. Whoops, too big. Let's get rid of that one. I want the smaller one. Where is the smaller one? There it is. Um, but what we can also then go, go is to the stair options. Uh, so I'm going to go to the. Let's stick to this one because I know it. Uh, and let's just uh, move that around so that when I'm in there it will work. And that logically knows I want a second floor. So it just goes and builds the second floor of the building for me. That is amazing. So, and you can just keep stacking that basically uh, until it sort of either hits memory limits or until basically until it just you're full uh, and you can't go any higher. So, you know, look at I mean, you look how quickly I've just done that. I've done three pretty quick houses, various styles, uh, with unique, intricate shapes. So I've done one over there, the one I'm standing on now, the Japanese style house, and this brick house over here. So I've gone from, you know, that is the original Lego World concept of just brick by brick building, and then I've got the really quick build a wall, and we've evolved even more so in the same update to build entire houses. So I think there's, you know, there's something definitely to be said there about these the lots of options for the various degree of skill of players as well. Yeah. Um, so you know, house builder for me, wall builder for me, or some sort of intermediates. Uh, but then for players like yourself who make amazing things, you've got the still the build tool. Yeah, well. and the, you've got the combination of it as well. So say you've you know you've you've built your your little primitive house here with the funky roof and everything, but you can still you can you can, you can paint it to make it look however you like, and then add extra um, yeah. elements as well from the, oh, the yeah, discoveries you, know, you found. Yeah, these things you know they, the bricks all behave exactly the same. So I can start painting over the top of it, giving it any color I want to. Now I can go in and start using the discovery tool to prop it out, mm. the bathtubs and stuff in there, and just hang out in the bathtub all day. Um, <laughs> and you know things like that so you know it just gives you a way of building very very quick town cities and sort of making them your own which is exactly what we want people to be doing as well so um so a community challenge then go build a town folks yeah, yeah, can want be, to yeah. see what you're uh, capable of so this is the next thing um we've made a big change to the ui again uh, particularly the discovery uh system so we've kind of bundled everything back together onto the sides here um which we felt was kind of necessary um, because what we what we were finding was that the, I mean, you got to look at this discovery list. It's massive now. You know, this is this has grown so much <laughs> since day one. I think we had like three or four hundred items total. I think we're up to well over two thousand now. So, I mean, you can still go going, 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 and we don't go down to these bottom ones here, these Ninjago uh, Samurai X ones. So it's it's a bit mental. So what we've decided is actually we really we really needed to establish a category system. So with the characters, the vehicles, and the brick builds as well. So we've done that by not only introducing this new system here, so these like these like 
test ones that we're working on as well. So these are the fragments, uh, loads and loads of different stuff. So what we've also done is, whereas we've made this a lot cleaner on the sides, so that everything's just under one very simple solution, uh, we've also then, if you go across to the right bumper, you get these tubs, so they're the classic Lego uh, sort of build, build bucket tubs. Um, and you can see we've sort of stylized them to be relevant to certain themes. Uh, if you go into the brick builds, you can see we've got the showcase models, uh, the DLCs, space and monsters, and then just some general misc stuff. Uh, you open it up and it just narrows it down for you so that you're able to, you know, find stuff very quickly. So if you're building something very specific, you can find that very specifically. So I want uh, something that I think is going to work in the modular builds. So hey, I've got these castles from the next night castle and this castle. Quickly find those and carry on. Uh, if I want to just have castles, or in this case houses, you know, we're on the subject of houses, I can see I've got these houses here as well. Uh, when you make your own creations, you get your own bucket for those. Um, you know, there's just so many more things you can do. And that's that's not as far as we've gone either, is it? Because we've also added the option to search. Yes, so uh, you can start typing things in. So if you were to just use the keyboard in front of you there for me and just type in castle, uh, for example, you can see it just quickly goes through and it's like, okay, these are the castles that match that flag in the text thing. So we've got, every, and what's nice is it groups everything. So these are props. Ah, oh, I've ruined it, I went too far. Um, so what it does is it really just groups the props. Uh, if you can just type that again for me. Oh, I've got a bit too over eager. Um, so you can see we've got um, Castle Straight, the prop here, so these sand castle props. Uh, these are brick builds. This is a, technically a vehicle, the Castle Cannon. Uh, so you know, there's lots and lots of it really bundles everything together. And if we were to go and say try, try to think of a creature that might share a name with one of these things, then, uh, let's say dragon, just 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 for sake of argument, um, you'll see the baby dragons, the dragon eggs, the dragon wizard. So you can see characters, creatures, props, uh, and that's an Alexa. Uh, that's a prop actually. So you know, you you've got things like that. So if they're all named the same, so if I was to make a, a building called Dragon's Keep, that would just appear in here. So you know, it's, it's a really quick way of sort of establishing what is and what isn't what you want it to do. Um, and we think that's really cool. We think that's really important. That's a, that. It's definitely a big time saver. I've been using it a lot. Um, Huge what, time saver. As you know, I'm always busy making other videos yeah, and yeah, builds. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's been a massive time saver. Well, yeah, videos is another thing. We, we, we do actually watch a lot of videos. I mean, when I was when we were in early access, I used to sit in the Steam stream system quite a lot and just watch players building stuff and I'd sort of talk to them from time to time in the comment systems they had. Um, but people were always making really cool videos and. People are always making cool videos, so what we wanted to do is we kind of wanted to help them a little bit. Uh, so we added in, in fact, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, there it is. So I was going to say uh, we could type it in, but I've just found it, so let's not waste any more time. So we added this camera car, and basically it's just it's literally what you think it is. So you can hop in the back, and you can sort of rotate a camera around. You can crane up, so you just give yourself a nice wide perspective. You can zoom it, and uh, let's go to the use camera mode, and you'll see this little timer goes down. So that means you're in camera mode now. This relies on uh, device capture more than anything else. But thankfully, almost all consoles now have that built in, and yeah. obviously PC, your, your, your options are kind of... Infinite. Yeah, you've got so many options on PC, what you can do. So you can sort of capture some really nice shots as well. And if you're playing in multiplayer mode, obviously, someone can then run in front of your camera up, option, uh, and you can sort of be in that focus. Shall we, uh, shall we give that a test? I've got an extra controller. Yeah, go on then, so hop on Why it. Not? So it's that button. There so if, I, if I'd start recording, uh, you would effectively come across and you can hop in the front and you can effectively drive it with a live action sequence. Dun, dun, dun. And I can control the camera. Look at us go! You can zoom it in. Ah. It would be really awkward for you to drive, I can zoom it out. You know, I'm not a very good driver I can see anyway. someone trying to make really cool <laughs> versions of gameplay with this. Like, oh, you've got to drive but you've got to be a mass zoom. <laughs> Complete zoom. Whoa! Hey. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, so there's, I, can, I can move the camera while you're still driving. Um, also as well, like you can hop out, so I've just jumped out of the vehicle, and that's me now, and I'm going to hop on the, my bike, and I'm just going to start driving away. I'll try. And you can try and chase me, and you know, so now you can imagine <laughs> full Lego City action sets effectively as well, so, you know, there's there's something to that as well, and all you've got to do is a simple button press, and you close the camera down. So we think people are going to use that really well, uh, and make their own sort of funky styles, um, and, you know, there's lots of like, sort of machinima style videos that people can make. Um, so I think it'd be really cool. Yeah, if you combine that with the fact you can now build towns super quickly, aka sets, we should be seeing some pretty wicked creations absolutely. from you lot. Yeah, absolutely. So you know, we love some of the videos that are out there. Some of them are really, really good. So we, we, you know, there's lots of that sort of stuff, and there's, like, there's some really cool vehicles out there to do that sort of thing with. 
But also, right, you, can, you can do like really cool, like, oh, I'm going to make a gardening program. I'm going to get my lawnmower out and just do some more mowing, and, you know, mowing the lawns with that. Um, you can make epic sort of dragon sequences, or, uh, or you can just show us building a house. Effectively, if you, you know, if you if you angle it right, you could actually try and work mm. work that system a bit as well. So that's that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I so, saw uh, one one of our younger users actually is in the the middle of building uh, a metropolis, a giant city, and he gave us a a, a mini tour of that using the camera car and it was just tremendous it was just great seeing that level of creativity but that that kind of passion as well just you know he'd, he'd done a great job and was mega keen to share it with us and we loved seeing it as well you know yeah some of these are amazing so even from day one we've had some pretty cool videos um one thing i will add that we've had a lot of requests for um that we've never really sort of followed up on um is the ability to delete custom characters so hey. it sounds really basic but it's one of those things that actually wasn't as simple as you would initially think when it comes to sort of like the way the lego world is built around very different to our other games um but yeah you can delete custom characters now, so that's a, a nice little note for the tu3 or title update 3 notes there so that's probably it for the title update 3 uh, features um we are going to record another video very soon Yep. Uh, and that's going to be for the Monsters DLC pack. It is indeed. Yeah, so let's hop into that. Yeah.